Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for joining me today for Arts and Crafts with Zio Fit. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make uh, this one way to make a DIY uh, home suspension system, like a suspension system like the TRX system. I'm just going to use a large bed sheet here, and um, when we install it, it's going to be installed on the opposite side of the door. When, you, when you're doing the door part, you want to always put it on the opposite side of the door, the way that the door opens. So this door, for instance, opens inward. So I'm gonna be on this side of the door. I want the door to be pulled against the door jamb by the tension. Uh, otherwise it puts an unnecessary amount of strain on the hinges on the door. You wanna avoid that. Uh, so I have this bed sheet. It's a queen, I believe. But you could probably get away with using a, a full size, the two. I've got it folded in half the long way, and now I'm gonna cut it in half down the seam. All right, so you see here I've cut the sheet in half and then I've folded each half lengthwise uh, in half twice. So what you're seeing here is four layers of cloth. So that means it's gonna be flat, relatively flat, and also pretty strong. And that's what we want. We want it to be able to slip between the door and the door jam right up at the top there. Uh, but we want it to be strong enough for you to hang on to it. So it's gotta be thin enough to slip through and strong enough to support your weight. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one side here and I'm just gonna tie a knot in it. Just a regular, I don't know what you call that, like a granny knot, is that what people call that? And then the same thing on the other side actually. Tie the knot on this side here. So, got them tied off. Now, let's try and install it. So you can see all I did is I draped it over the top of the door, spread it out, uh, made sure that the knot was on the other side, closed the door. Now I should be able to pull on them and the, the sheet should slip through until it gets to the knot. And so now they're nice and tight. So from here I should be able to do some TRX type exercises. So with these sheets I can either just grab them. I can wrap them around my hands for sturdier grip. Let's see how this works. So you can see, it feels pretty sturdy. I could do a good row here. I can even get down and make this a little more challenging there. I can come up, I can do Strong tricep extension here. I can wrap my hands. Let's see how would I do that. I can wrap the hands there. There we go. I can work a can work an archer push up here. I can basically do almost anything that I would want to do with a TRX now. One thing that I can do with this is put my feet, hook my feet up into it. So a way that you could work that is if I simply tied these ends together, then I would be able to get my feet into that strap and do some of the stuff like, I could tie these together, put my foot in there, and I could be doing single leg squat jumps with this too. So this is just one way to do this. Um, if you have a pull up bar, you can use the same technique with the sheets if you don't have you know, rope or anything else, and you can just throw this up over the pull-up bar. Now, if you are looking for something to suspend from in the home, and you're not the adult in the house, make sure you clear it with, uh, with a grown-up. 
make sure that whatever you're attaching to has structural integrity. You don't want to damage your home or yourself because you're trying to support your weight. And you got to remember too, when you're doing these moves, your weight is dynamic. That means at the bottom of a rep, when you're changing direction, you're actually exerting more force on the connection point than your body weight in some cases. So make sure that whatever you're connecting to has the structural integrity to be able to support your exercise. Have fun.